We're here with another teacher profile. We're here with Barbara Young from the Folsom Cordova Unified School District. She is their 2008 Teacher of the Year. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Well, tell us a little bit about you know, where you teach, what subjects you teach. I teach in the Folsom Cordova District at Theodore Judah Elementary, and I have kindergarten children, and I teach all the subjects. Yes. So now, uh, how long have you been teaching kindergarten? Gosh, well, at Theodore Judah, I've taught there for eight years. Kindergarten in previous districts, I've also taught kindergarten and first grade as well. Okay. So tell me about uh, what challenges you face as uh, a teacher of, of students that are, that are so young. Well, there, it's interesting now because our curriculum that we have for kindergartners is like the curriculum I had for first graders in the late 70s. And so a lot of what we're teaching now to kindergarten to kindergartners is first grade curriculum. And so that can be challenging for some of them, the expectations to read and write sentences and, and do addition and subtraction is at a higher abstract level now than it was before. But we try to blend you know, the state standards as well as other um, activities they need to have be developmentally appropriate for them. Can you tell uh, the pretty st stark difference between those students who have had some preschool education and those who have not? And, and tell me about that. Um, there is a noticeable difference. Most of them that come in for preschool experience, they're able to write their name and they ha their socialization skills are, are higher. They've learned to share and be in small groups and, and large groups. Um, they're really at an advantage in most um, situations. There are exceptions to the rules where children have been with families at home and they've had very enriched um, lives before they you know, even walk into kindergarten. And they've had their turns for sharing a lot of one-on-one. -on -one, and, and they do a, a nice job as well. So how many years have you been teaching total now? 20. 20. What do you find to be the most rewarding thing about being a teacher? I love that the children are excited to come to school. Um, I really enjoy when um, children that I've had in kindergarten have become teachers, and that um, really has come true lately for me. I've been meeting people that have been in my classes that are teaching kindergarten in my own district and also um, are teaching with my husband at the high school level. Oh, okay. So obviously over the years you've seen some great challenges as well. What are some of the challenges that that you've seen that you've faced over the years and plus maybe what all teachers face these days? I think there is uh, a lot of uh, pressure economically on, on families and there's a different structure in their families themselves. Everyone's working really hard and, um, and we have these challenging standards that we're trying to meet at the same time and provide for all the children. Um, it's, it's tricky. It's, a, it's trying to have that balance um, and teaching the children under various situations. Not everyone comes to school um, ready to learn, um, having their basic needs met, and, and some do. And, and that can change the course of the day, you know, and, and career and education for children. Well, how do you see uh, the future of education? How do you see things changing? I think there's a lot of wonderful people that are still coming into education and that's really promising. I've been able to have a couple student teachers and they're very excited about it and we really need them. We need good people to join us in educating the children. I think that districts and the state are working really hard at developing curriculum and to keep the children um, performing well academically. I feel promising about it. I feel good even though there are challenges in it and I think there are good people that still have the love and passion for teaching um, children. But do you see any large changes ahead uh, as to maybe what might force you to change the way you approach your students in the classroom, uh, whether it's technology or techniques or anything? Well, we definitely incorporate computers in the classroom, which I didn't have maybe five or ten years ago. And in fact, today they were the kindergartners were working in one chicka chicka boom boom, lots of fun. They're they're rereading the story and they're matching letters and. Um, that, that's something different that I didn't have in my centers, you know, when I first started teaching. I do think we need to keep up with that and they need to be, you know, skilled in that area. Because the children are so used to technology at home. Many are. Right. Many are. Some come in without a lot of experience, but some, some are. And it's just another tool to help um, teach them and reinforce the skills that we have.
For instance, that, that uh, program I said, Chicka Chicka Boom Boom, which is a popular book, we also have it in the listening center and then we have it in the computer. And it just reinforces, it's very catchy, the children love it. Now, there are some special things that you might do to inspire your students. Uh, any, any special tricks that you have for your kids? Oh, to inspire them? Oh, every day I try to <laughs> inspire them. I, I'm a really big encourager to try. Um, sometimes things seem hard for them to do, and I have some favorite, you know, cliches of, you know, hard to do doesn't mean can't do that I picked up actually from my children's preschool teacher. Um, they, when they do something wonderful, I'll say, kiss your brain, and that comes from another um, singer that has a, a, a CD out. And I, every day, is in, I think it, I'm trying to inspire them by the love that I show them, by the activities, and just how exciting it is to learn about whatever we are, you know, the life cycle of a frog, or, you know, if we're growing the sunflowers, or gosh, look at how we can put these sounds together and we can read, you know. It's all exciting. So the students in turn inspire you too. Oh, they do. And I learn from them every day. <laughs> they just say things that make me think and that's and I'll say, gosh, I didn't think about that before. So I want them to know that they're teaching me and that two heads are better than one. Now, uh, if you can think back, are there any teachers or maybe one teacher in particular who inspired you? Um, Poochie Hemington is a, a colleague that I had when I first started teaching. And she was awesome. She just took me under her wing. And this was at a first grade level in um, Jackson School. She did an awesome job. Um, she showed me about you know, loving the children and challenging them. And she was a good friend at the same time. What about as far as teachers you had when you were a student? Do any particular teachers uh, stand out in your mind? Well, always my first grade teacher. She just um, was an angel and she just loved each one of us. I just always remember her, and I remember even our phonics workbook that we had, we still have that now, and she would show us a page, and, and we would know what to do before she even told us, and she would just think we were wonderful, and she would just tell us. So lots of praise, and she just had a very loving hand. Do you find yourself thinking about your former teachers uh, as you're in the classroom now? Oh, sure. Oh, sure. Um, can't help but feel it because they're inside of us. I think every time that we share a year with a child um, and a, a teacher shares a year with us when we're children, we become a part of the same family and um, there's a lot of good stuff there. Yes, I always, I think about her. Yep, she's top of the list. <laughs> well, what does it mean to you to be named as uh, the Teacher of the Year for the Folsom Cordova Unified School District? Oh, such an honor. So much fun. Um, I came back after being awarded to my uh, awarded the um, the trophy. I call it sort of the Super Bowl trophy, and my school just had this wonderful assembly for us, and the teachers were crying and the children, you know, were cheering and they were singing a school song that I had made up, and we just had flowers and I had this guardian angel statue and. You just would have thought that we had won the Super Bowl trophy, and it was a really good push for our school. We have wonderful, wonderful children and families and teachers, and it was great for them to be recognized. Well, final question would be, uh, there are a lot of people out there who are considering teaching as a career and aren't sure. What can you say to them uh, to let them know that this is a career path that maybe they should follow? I think if you have just a love for children and a passion for helping them and giving back to the community, you're a great candidate. I would recommend it. Look into it. Yeah, absolutely. Do you think there are a lot of people out there who are kind of on the fence and not really sure if this is what they want to do? I do. Um, it is a huge commitment and sometimes you're facing you know, obstacles like budgets, um, that um, can be challenging you know, for teachers, but I think you have to really search your heart, and if that's where you're being led to, absolutely, you need to check it out. Is it something that you just knew that you wanted to be a teacher? I, I didn't, actually. Um, initially, I wanted to become a dietitian, and I was in a nutrition class, and in the background, I heard children's voices, and I was wondering where the voices were of children on a college campus, and I um, couldn't wait for class to end, and so I went out, and I explored and I finally came to a building and it was a child development um, campus, um, school on the campus. 
And I just knew at that instant, that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to be with children and I wanted to teach them. So I changed my emphasis to child development and then I went through the teaching pro uh, program. Oh. Well, thank you for sharing your story with us. We're thank with you. Uh, Barbara Young from the Folsom Cordova Unified School District, their Teacher of the Year for 2008.